Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 308. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I'll be flying solo for this week. And well, what can I say? Everybody is busy or very excited about season 8, which came out this weekend. So if you guys don't know, season 8 was a game changer. They did a lot of things that were not expected. Well, not really because the storyboard preview that the Discovery Channel did was kind of there and kind of, well, I won't say spoilerish. Okay, they are spoilerish, but it was a very interesting insight to things. So, yay. But one of the few things that was interesting, or one of the few things that was interesting in the storyboard preview was a character going by the name of Chancellor Naysayer. So, a lot of people were wondering who voiced him because he sounds so familiar. And the reason for that is if you were a kid of the 90s, you would have recognized his voice. And it seems that he is played by Maurice Lamarcky. He's the voice for The Brain from Pinky and the Brain and also Mr. Big from Zootopia. So they got him into the show and that's pretty amazing. That's pretty cool. And after hearing it for myself, yes, I do hear the brain. Now I just can't wait for Rob Paulson to come in playing somebody else and acting beside uh, Maurice here. And for you guys at home who got no idea who Rob Paulson is, he plays Donatello in the new or the 3D Ninja Turtles. And also Pinky from Pinky the Brain. So having those two in the studio together would be fun. But hey, that's besides the point, And I can't wait to see where this character goes. Because it's very interesting. It's very interesting. So moving on to the next news. Well, I have to say congratulations to our good buddies at EQD. So the reason why is that Equestria Daily is going to be archived by the Library of Congress in their web culture section. So from what I'm reading here on their website is that a few years ago, uh, the Library of Congress were asking them for approval to be archived for their web culture online section along with 30 other websites. But still, um, EQD is now in the history books for their web culture thingy and I have to say, wow, congratulations, guys. It's an, it's an achievement to be there. Uh, in all honesty, I got no idea what the Library of Congress is. But still, it seems like it's really important. So, yay, good on you guys. So, other than that, that's the news for this week. It's been a pretty slow news week, to be honest. Um, nothing new came out. And, well... Like I said, it's a bit of a slow one. So let's go into the next topic. What have we been doing with our week? And well, since I'm solo queuing today, I have to say that, well, I am the only one up to bat. And in all honesty, nothing much really, nothing too different from what I've been doing last week. A bit of um, work here and there. But uh, the fun parts, yes, you don't want to hear me talk about work. Work is boring. So what have I been doing for the funsies? Oh, yes, I know, I remember. I watched Pacific Rim Uprising. That was a fun movie. I personally gave it an 8 out of 10 as a sequel. But, for its, but on its own merits, it's a 9 out of 10. And I would highly recommend go watching it because it was a lot of fun. If you're a fan of big giant robots smashing things, Pacific Rim is your movie. It's very fun. Other than that, um, what else? What else? Nothing much really. Um, Been playing the... Oh, yes, now I remember. I've been playing El Noir. It's a very fun detective game. You're a police officer going up the ranks and solving mysteries or cases. And the game is set in the 1940s, which is kind of different from all of the modern games because 
if you played any modern games, they're usually based in some dystopian future or like whatever it is. So it's a nice change of pace to play something that nice. Other than that, nothing much really. Uh, been just doing the normal things that I usually do. Uh, Overwatch, not really payday. I- I've seemed to lost my uh, interest in payday. It's not that I think it's a boring game or whatever it is. It's just that I've lost interest. I got no idea why. It should be fun. Like they updated the game to make it more different and whatnot so it stands to show that i should be interested in it but somehow i've lost interest kind of i don't know i'm I'm babbling i i think i contradict myself many times by saying that but in the end it's well still a fun game still a fun game so so with that there's a show for this week if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvoLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also, please subscribe to our... Well, I won't say newest. We've been doing this for a while now. But our other podcast, the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and sometimes Guest of the Week, reviewing the My Little Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And also, catch us doing some other shows. Miraculous Ladybug seems to be one of them. And also some, well, newer movies. Who knows? Probably we'll do a discussion on Pacific Rim or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what we'll do. Because right now, I think the focus for the review show right now is to get through Season 7. So expect to get a lot more Season 7 reviews out back to back. Also, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, myself, Lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you guys for the awesome support. You guys have been great to me. So, I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll guys catch you next week with another amazing episode of the Yes Show. See ya!